So what's up everyone? Welcome back to your channel, Bright Life Institute, I'm Alicia. Today, I want to talk about the champion mindset. A lesson from men to women. Women and men do not face the same challenge. And that challenge sometime and most of the time start in their mind. In the world of men, there is this thing that they call having a champion mindset. The mindset of a champion is flexible and strong and resilient. Champion harbor the ability to cope with setback and obstacle. But they also have the strong will to succeed and overcome any failure that come in their way. It is their strong belief in themselves or a higher power that keep them mentally adapt and resilient. Women, what doesn't work for many of them is many women and girls suffer from low self-esteem. They, they suffer from insecurity is the biggest challenge that many women suffer. That doesn't say that men doesn't also suffer from insecurity, but they experience this differently. There are some guys out there, never mind what's happening, they believe they are the best. They do not see other guy and what's going on as a challenge. They don't even see them. Let's say a guy see his ex-girlfriend with a new guy. Well, we ladies have surely experienced this. You are with a new guy and your ex-boyfriend will not leave you alone for a fact, he won't not leave the territory. He stay around, he's not shy to mess things up for the two of you, and he's not worried. He may be worried inside, but some of those behavior of some of those guys out there just say that you are not in my level. I am the best. You are dating my woman and you are just a distraction and me and her were meant to be together. So they don't even acknowledge the guy. They continue their business, try to interact with you, seduce you like he doesn't exist. This is something that us women won't do or think about. We will get hurt, we will become insecure, we will freak out because we find out that uh, our ex-partner have a new person or we have a husband and a boyfriend and just seeing him checking out another girl will make us freaked out. We will lose it, we will lash out. We will demand that this stop and we will behave completely insecure and will be very unattractive for the guy or anybody to watch the show. But again, I'm not saying that guys doesn't do it also. What I'm saying, there are some guys out there that don't freak out about all of that because 
they are holding in their mind the champion mindset. So today, ladies, I want to share this mindset that the guys and some of the guys have out there with you. So you remember that you are unique. There are not two of you in this world, despite there are billion and billion of people. I'll give you free example of the type of guy that got this champion mindset. Because again, not every guy has it. There are some guy that are gonna freak out for anything. You're talking to a guy, another guy, and they freak out. And that also is not attractive because they look insecure, they look frightened, and they acknowledge that the other guy may be better than them, that maybe that other guy is a competition. The guys that have the champion mindset will not see any other guy to be a competition he simply doesn't exist i said that i'm gonna give you three example but thinking about it i will give you four so let's start with those example of who out there got this champion mindset in the man a champion doesn't see his opponent as being better than him. One example is Cristiano Ronaldo. He's a champion, a football player or a soccer player, depending where you are living in the world. In an Italian TV interview, the young Cristiano Ronaldo was caught as saying, in my mind, I'm the best. I may not be, but in my mind, I believe that I'm the best. This kind of mindset that this young man in the time, Cristiano Ronaldo, had is what have really pushed him to become the best. He already believed in his mind that he's the best. There are many great football players out there, but clearly in the mind of this guy, he did not see any of them to be on his level. He was the best in his mind and he believed it. The, the other one is Conor McGregor. We all know him. We all see how he behave and he wear what he wear, how he speak. This guy really don't just believe he's the best, but he want the best. Conor McGregor, double champion with the UFC, he has said things like, you know, these people are not in my level. No one think like me. No one talk like me. No one move like me. They are not like me, I'm the UFC. You know that this guy like to talk highly about himself, but he's not just talking, he believe it. It's like one time I watch a video of him about his suit, what he wear. And this guy really go to the details to get the best and every inch about what he's wearing in him. So much that he believed that he is the best in 
his category and the other one they are not in his level the other tiger that I would like to bring as an example in this champion mindset is no other than Michael Jordan Michael Jordan has win six times the NBA championship he is really a perfectionist when his team mate do not play in what he expect to be in the level he will go put them in their place and he will attack them this guy is an obsess on perfection and high quality games and he doesn't take too much when his team are under performing you better run if you're in his team and you don't give the best of yourself but also if you don't believe that you are the best and playing with the best as again Michael Jordan believe he is the best my last example is a politician the young Emmanuel Macron at age 15 years old decided to go for his teacher that is now his wife Brigitte Macron Brigitte Macron was married and have three kids with an investment banker that was quite level up and you have this kid 15 years old that didn't have a job yet there was nobody he put in his mind that this woman that was already taken with three kids is his in his mind he want her and he's gonna get her what the nerve right I mean what a confidence and despite the, his parents and everybody else and the whole chaos on both family side to stop and change the mind of the young Macron Macron did not give up on wanting to have this woman that's another example of the champion mindset so lady I want to share with you these things that some of the guy out there get because woman we don't have this naturally we freak out too often when the guys don't want us or we see our ex-husband ex-boyfriend dating somebody else when we start to freak out we forgot how good we are that there are a lot of things about us that are level that are it was unplaceable we straight away assume us woman because there's a woman over there she got tits like us she has leg like us she's a woman like us that she can do the same like us ladies no matter what's going on in your life and what look you have that you have a big belly that you get old that you're not in shape anymore that your hair is a bit messy find a way to remember how good you are we all have some quality and it's not because there is this girl over there that dressing up with short skirt she has a nice body 
about you. Don't have something and few things about you that none of those people get. The moms that have been focusing on raising your kids and then you have your husband giving you up to date a young girl. That hurt. Or oh, to some girls out there that have been investing in a guy and that guy never made an effort for you and now he's doing all the effort that you wanted him to do for you to another girl, a new girl. And you feel like it's your fault. There must be something wrong with you because he did not treat you like he's treating her. Never compare yourself to anybody. Nobody is like you and nobody is at your level. Remember who you are. Accept who you are. Comparison is a doorway to your own happiness. It's a killer of joy and confidence and peace in your mind. So, ladies, I'm inviting all of you that's watching this video and that don't feel good a certain area of your life. Maybe because of a guy, or maybe because of a job, or maybe because all your girlfriend, your sister, your family looking gorgeous and you believe you are not. Let me give you an example of something incredible. Cleopatra, the queen of Cleopatra. We all have assumed that Cleopatra got with Julius Caesar and Antony because she was beautiful. Well, historians have restructured the face of Cleopatra. She was actually really not attractive at all. And we're talking in a time where you see women all over the place, those guys could get anyone. They didn't have to commit, they didn't have to marry. They could just get anyone, especially when you're Julius Caesar. But this woman that was not attractive got this guy just like that. So never put yourself down. Never get yourself worried of another woman. She got what she got and you surely get what you get. Be confident of who you are. Know your worth. This is something the many women lack, is to not know their worth. They get freaked out to see ex-boyfriend with a new girl. Let him be free, let him have it. Let him, let him have his blessing. It's all good. No. What you bring to the table, trust me, not everybody can bring what you can bring to the table. So never put yourself down. And like Conor McGregor, these people are simply not in your level, period. Period. That's not arrogance to say it. It's not because there are girls around that they are as good than you, that they are at your level. Chances, they are not. But we can make people be more than what they are by worrying about them. I went through a period where I fell in this trap. I never worried before about any girls. Actually, some of my ex-boyfriend would tell me off. Because when there were beautiful, beautiful women passing by, I would say, did you see that woman? She looked gorgeous. And they would get upset to say, why are you asking me to look at this woman? Don't you care about me? That was me before. And then there was a period where I felt inferior when I saw a girl passing by. She was not even pretty. And because 
my boyfriend in the time was checking this girl that was not in my level that was no nothing like me and she would have to run to be like me all right and i worried i put my eyes down i felt inferior do yourself a favor if you feel like that with any man make sure to get rid of him fast you must get rid of him because clearly he has not made you feel good about yourself. He's dragging you down. You're seeking approval, validation, and love from a guy that is abusing you mentally, basically, because it is an abuse. When you're with a, a woman, you made your choice as a man to be with that woman. If you didn't want, take the door and leave and take somebody else. You're with her. And you could not even do the job to make her feel good about herself. Girls, if you're with a guy that make you not feel good about yourself and you feel crap, you start to feel inferior, you start to feel, you know, worrying about every girl that passing by, it's time that you get rid of this guy. Because a good guy that loves you, he will compliment you you will reinforce your feeling good about yourself. You will push you to go forward in life. You will be your rock. This kind of guy that make you feel bad about yourself is not a rock. He's dragging you to the hole to the point that you want to hurt and kill yourself and feeling depressed because you see that this guy is not giving you his best is not even trying anything even if when he come to see you he did not even take the time to shower and to make himself look presentable or he didn't even bother to try to get a life for himself because he's with you he did not even try to impress you and how you know that a guy doesn't care about you is when he doesn't try to impress you he doesn't try anything the lack of effort show a lack of interest but that's not your problem take today this key the champion mindset this is what her men some of her men out there have in their mind the boxer the champion they in their mind get kicked down but in their mind they're not beaten no this guy over there is no issue they are the best of the best and we lady it's time that we remember how good we are how good we are you lost a guy don't worry about it seriously there's so many great guys over there that will just kill themselves for you so don't worry most of the time we women we settle for the first guy that wants us the guy can want you but it is us women that choose who we want to be with it's not the guy that choose is the woman choose guy chase woman choose get it so if you some of you girls don't feel very good about yourself no matter what the reason is. Write down and try to remember few things that you are really good at. I speak to many mothers that, you know, they don't have the same body anymore. They got some weight because they got the babies. They're at home alone. They're not working. And some of their husband start to disrespect them because they see this woman not working she is not earning money she is focusing on the house and the children and some guy don't see that as work they start to complain they start to look around and now with the social media some people especially guys start to obsess about those 
you know, uh, Instagram model where they see the whole body and the whole back and everything and then they come home to you and they feel unsatisfied about what they have at home. Well, it's time that you start to feel unsatisfied as well about what you have at home. And you start to focus your energy in what matter, and that is you. If the person that you await only think about themselves, it's time that you also copycat their move and care about yourself. If you are a mom and your husband do not appreciate how you know the work you do at home as cooking, cleaning and taking care of the house and he's complaining because you're not working, let him go and find another woman that can clean, cook and take care of the kids like you do. For the girls out there that have been sleeping with some guys for many years and he's still not calling your girlfriend, he's still not committing, you're still not good enough for him. Let him go and focus on yourself. Give yourself the love and the commitment that you seek from this other person. Never, never be afraid to lose people. Don't worry. And trust me, there are only one like you in the world. It's hard to believe that. But it will be a mistake to assume because there are women in this world that they are all women can do the same thing. And girls, if you still feel bad after what I just said, and you feel like you're not good on anything, it's time that you start to learn some new skills to be good at what you do. It's time to bloody level up. It's possible that some of you feel there is nothing that you can do. You're not good on anything. Well, this is your opportunity to be good on many things and to be really good at it. You don't have to be good in everything. One thing you do well is enough. When we look at Conor McGregor is really good on what he's doing. When we look at Ronaldo, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo is good in what he's doing. He may not be good in other things. You don't have to be good on everything to feel like you are the best. Do one things good. Do one things to the perfection. Do one things well. Level up your life. Level up yourself. Level up everything about you. We women have things that we do not see as important and valuable. But many guys out there see some stuff about us that we don't think this is a big deal. I mean, between us girls, do we think that a girl that have a big back, a big ass, is something special? A big tits? No. Or big lips? No. We will not think that this is so special. But millions of guys out there does not think like that. They think this is really special. We are all good in what we do, but some of us are really good in many things that we do. So never compare yourself to anyone, never be afraid to lose people, be glad when somebody leaves your life and that person never made you feel good. This is a blessing, this is not a curse. If they find somebody else, this is a real blessing. 
you get rid of them good and gone. We want people in our life that make us feel good about ourselves. We don't have time for drama, for people that never compliment you, never push you forward, never bring anything to the table. You bring in enough, everything, they take in everything, and they bring in zero to the table. If you lose somebody like that, and basically you lose a loser, there is no lose to lose a win, a, a loser. There's only win. So today, ladies, worship your champion mindset about yourself. Realize that you are unique and you are the best. And don't worry about anybody else. When I go out, I don't see the other girls. I'm like bringing it on. I'm leaving it up. I'm feeling so confident that it scares other people. Confidence is really sexy. Please don't waste your time to try to figure out why your ex-husband, your ex-boyfriend uh, got a new girl checking on her on social media to find out who she is. Who cares who she is? All you know is you're free, you are at peace. This is no longer your problem. These people just made your life better. I mean, you need to thank them. You don't have to deal with that headache anymore. And that's what is great all about these things. Focus on yourself and seek to focus on the past that doesn't matter anymore. I know that when I was in this situation myself, I thought I would feel something, but I felt nothing. I just felt good. <laughs> I just felt good. I just felt good. And also in the moment that I had such a news, you know, I had so biggest things going on in my life that that things was just so tiny. You need to know who you are and you need to know what you are worth. And not worry about anybody else that are not in your level. And I know that it's not good to speak like that, but it's not everybody that are in your level. You need to first know, you know, who you are. And then you stop worrying. And then you just focus on what matters in your life. What is not in your life? It's not in your life because it's not important. If God thought that for you to succeed, that other person needed to be in your life, he would have kept that person in your life. He didn't. So just focus on what you have in your life, what it is in your life. Be resilient, be courageous. And all, you know, focus on loving up in every, every level of your life, in yourself, in your life. So guys, this was my message today. If you like this message, give a big thumbs up, share this video, and subscribe to the channel. I hope this message is going to help you. This champion mindset is really powerful. And I hope some of you ladies are really going to remember how worth it you are. Nobody is like you. Don't worry about the other girls over there. I know I used to, I don't, zero now. I feel really content about who I am, here and now, all right? So guys, this is Brighter Life, your channel, I'm Alicia. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.